like we talked about, Delta-8 is better for body type yep. ailments and um, less, less head change. Head change. Okay, so let's go back to this dosing thing because yeah. this is a good time to talk about this. So when, when I talk about dosing to patients, we start out with a quarter of a dropper, about a quarter of a dropper. That's probably about two and a half, maybe that's two. It's graduated so you can see a quarter, right? Oh, yep. Yeah, don't drip it on the carpet. So that's about, that's about right. We would start there in the afternoon, take about that much, wait an hour, 90 minutes, Feel nothing, redose with that amount. The thing I really like about tinctures is I can, I can pick that amount every single time. I don't have to bite off half of a gummy. Right. And like choose, oh, I need three quarters of this gummy, but I don't know whether I got three quarters for an hour because maybe an hour later I and got too much of the gummy. And that's assuming that the gummy has all of its medicine equally distributed throughout the whole gummy. Right. Which is the notorious problem with edibles where you know you eat half the bar, you don't feel anything even an hour and a half later, so you eat the other half, and then you're on the floor for two days. Yeah. And who hasn't right. been there, right? These are nice. I, I really like tinctures, but they tend to be a little, this one's not, this one's a, uh, it's got a peppermint. It's got yep, a little peppermint, peppermint oil in it. Yep. So patients can take the exact amount they need. They can redose the exact amount they need. Um, do you think that, are these products better than is the, is the material we put in these products better than the material we put in the gelatinous cubes in general? Are you putting lower oh. quality products that's, in those and That's a great question. So here, here's what I'll say to that. You're putting the good stuff in here? Here's what I would say. Um, people should all be using good stuff for everything. It's medicine. Look, I know a lot of companies, both on the CBD side and on the THC side, um, that use a lot of like crude oil to make products. Mm -hmm. And the justification for the use of crude oil would be something along the lines of, you want all the natural bits of the plant in there. And so a full crude is better for you than, you know. There's a, a whole marketing product. campaign for CBD, for the crude CBD, yeah. the three drops. And, yeah, and what I'll call that is a lot of times it's green goo. Look, there are some things you want to remove from the plants themselves if you're going to process. There are some terpenes that aren't marketed on your super sour diesel. And the reason why they're not marketed on there is because you've either bred the plant not to produce them or the natural terpenes that come from the plant don't include certain terpenes that when mixed with water make acid, essentially, mm -hmm. sulfuric acid. Um, I've seen this before where you'll extract massive amounts of terpenes and if you're getting some of the ones that aren't nice, right, from cheap hemp or whatever it is, you'll melt your gaskets. You'll start doing, you'll destroy your rough pot. Okay. Right? Use good product. So use good. Use good stuff. There are plenty of people who use crudes to make gummies because in edibles, you're mixing it with sugars and other things so you don't taste it. Mm -hmm. Crude sort of tastes like terrible. I was going to use Just other words, but <laughs> there may be, oh, there wouldn't be kids. This is above 21. But Got it. But you hear what I'm Okay, so... This is a good question. We're talking about products. Mm, yeah. So I, uh, we have two vape cartridges here. One from Hilu. Is that, is that how you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Hilu. And Maybe not. I, you know what? We I, were, know. I have no idea. And we have one from Zion. It's a Lemon Dream vape cartridge. Mm, yeah. Comes in a little uh, box like this. And the, this vape cartridge comes in a, comes in a deal like this. I, look, I think it's nobody's doing this. Right, so I, I'm just, we're gonna be the people who are willing to put this out there. Sure. You know, that we've, we've got these products right here. So they look a little different. Yep. This is the Helu cartridge. These both just screw on to a battery. Yep. And when you, when you inhale, it atomizes, it heats this up and atomizes this and delivers the, delivers the product right to the lungs. The nice thing from a dosing perspective about these, there's, there's a couple of really great things about these. Um, they are almost instantaneous yep. as far as the onset of action. Within a couple of minutes, you're going to feel almost maximum effect within about five minutes, five to ten minutes. 
they're not, they don't last a long time. So the duration is gonna be one to two hours with a product like this. Uh, that's good because you can dose, if you get a little too much, it doesn't last too long. Uh, the other nice thing about these is they don't smell. There's, there's very, almost no smell um, when it comes to like the inhalation and you're just exhaling vapor. So they're very inconspicuous, well, yeah, and, I guess. And, and that happens because when you're inhaling in the lungs, you're taking the cannabinoid content and the terpenes with it. So it should have flavor. It should taste like something. You should have an experience with it. But when you exhale, you've absorbed all of that already. So what you're exhaling is mostly, you know, water vapor from your lungs. You're not exhaling tons of the, the other material, the terpene material. Got it. The other, you know, and I recommend most everybody start with something like this because especially in Utah, there's a lot of people who don't want to inhale anything. And that's okay. I mean, our culture is, sure. we're religious, don't want to smoke, don't want to look like you're smoking. Even that concept is really, it puts people off. But you can get some pretty low dosing with these and you can, you yeah. can titrate the dose over the course of 30, 40 minutes, um, you know, by just taking a little inhalation. And you can take such small inhalations, you can get two, three milligrams. Well, and, and one thing I would mention is you can figure out the dose on this. So you can look at what the THC content or the cannabinoid content is on the box, mm -hmm. or you should be able to. Yep. And then typically you think about milligrams per second draw. Okay. Now there's a little bit of a difference between volume and so forth, but, but the equation is basically this idea. For every full second draw in a one gram ga uh, vape cart that is 82%, it would be 10 milligrams. Every right. how many seconds? One second. Got it. Right, so. So strong, this is a strong dose. That's So correct. you gotta be really careful, because if you're sucking in four or five seconds, you're getting, that's right. a lot of medicine. Whereas on a half gram cart, right, that's at 72% cannabinoid or THC, you know, you're probably actually looking more at about two and a half to three milligrams per second. So, you know, you could take two second drag or one second and then an hour later do another. Like th there's th that's how you would measure dosing on those. Okay. Um, and so, so I'm usually telling patients, look, when you take an inhalation, you're getting between two and five milligrams. Now you're saying that it's probably a little bit higher than that on a, on a heavily concentrated that's correct. vape cartridge. You, you probably getting between five and 10 milligrams yep. at least. And if you're, t if you're somebody, these are patients who are new, beginners. And, and the difference between like, you know, the Zion cards, the one you're holding particularly is Lemon Dream. Lemon Dream yep. is formulated specifically to be a mostly a Delta 8 product. And yeah, not I was a Delta looking at it on product. the box. Right. And the question is, why is it a little cloudy? Yeah. Look, this one's a little clear. There's been some controversy over this on the there social been, media. Yeah. Right? Is this, is this contaminated, Blake? No, it's not. The, the, here's what I would say if you want an in-depth, uh, um, I like it though, you almost just like, I'm calling you out, this is Donahue. Is well, it contaminated, bro? No. I um, mean, but that was the question sure. online, right? Um, like, answer the question because. Yeah, these, no, it's, it's I, good. I, I, I like the cloudiness, I feel like it's a, it's the Hefeweizen of vape cartridges. The Hefeweizen of vape. I like that. Can I use that? Yes. Yes. Um, for a full long explanation, because I don't think we have the time here. Uh, the Zion Medicinal website has a vape cart 101. It talks about every single product that people use to make vape carts, everything from PPG, VG, um, um, yeah, I, uh, MCT oil, um, terpenes, what terpenes are good, natural terpenes, cannabis derived terpenes. It talks about all of it. it talks about mm -hmm. how batteries work, how to atomize, all of those things. The short answer is this. Depending on what terpenes you're using and whether or not they're coming back from a cannabis derived terpene set, whether they're just a botanical terpene, and by mm -hmm. the way, a botanical lime, limoline, is the same, right? Okay. A, it, they are, I mean, at least from a chemical perspective. Got it. It's the mixture that makes cannabis special, I think. The, yeah. It's the mixture of them. But the molecules themselves are the same. But the difference between botanical versus cannabis derived versus uh, something that is chemically derived or something along those mm -hmm. lines. Okay. Um, Zion um, used to use MCT. OK. 
okay? And that actually provided more clarity to carts, right? People thought it caused cloudiness, it doesn't. Then some people said, oh, it's the Delta A, Delta A makes it cloudy. No, it doesn't. What's happening is the terpene counts. So the lemon dream is specifically really, really high in a couple terpenes specifically to help with absorption for Delta 8 as Got well it. as CBDV. Certain terpenes are water absorbing. Mm -hmm. They will absorb water. By the way, if you're extracting your own and you want to get a good terpene pull, this is exactly how you make some of the concentrates, right? You use water to actually pull this stuff out. And what happens is oils are not water soluble. Let's be really clear about that. But what happens is certain terpenes will act as pulling, being able to pull some of those uh, cannabinoids with them. Some of those terpenes are water soluble and that's how you extract the terpenes is water solubility. But the problem with that is they will sit and absorb water over time. So in, in our particular case, as we were first learning our, our production, mm -hmm. we'd have our THC sitting in a place that had air being able to be around it. So it would absorb water. Those terpenes would absorb water and that's called turbidity. And that's what causes that cloudiness. Um, we've had other issues though too. Some of our products we've got imported from China um, were not made with stainless steel like they said they were. Citrulline and some of those types of terpenes will actually start degrading what we call pig iron. It'll start to break it down. That's where you'll get a green kind of corrosion look to it. And that's actually in of itself isn't necessarily bad unless that metal that's being used in there has other things, like it came out of a mine in China that also has arsenic and also has some Got of these, it. and that's where you could run into an issue. So if you see something like that, probably you should stop smoking. If it, you just bought it and you see that, then absolutely return it. I mean, Zion will always return their products for sure, but there, it's not an exact thing yet where all stainless steel is true stainless steel. Yeah. Because in an illegal industry, people can get away with all kinds of stuff. Sure. Anyway, that's the biggest difference is that how you make things and what terpenes you use will affect the way the color, cut, and, and clarity. Right, and it's, we're considering this really just a turbidity issue, but it's the terpenes that get it uh, so that the Delta-8 absorbs better. Certain lemon, ones do, certain ones right? don't. And yep. Lemon Dream is designed so it gives you a high Delta-8 concentration right. into the lungs. And like we talked about, Delta-8 is better for body type yep. ailments and um, less less head change head change right Delta, yeah uh, lemon dream was specifically formulated one of our first mandates that i feel like we had from patients and also the state was for cancer patients mm -hmm. and a lot of these patients suffer from from chemotherapy they're having a lot of ibs issues they're having a lot of stomach issues they have a lot of nausea how do we address that, yep. right? And so we worked really hard to figure out what cannabinoids we thought would be better for that. Because at the time, there wasn't just enough research about it, right? Yeah. Uh, turns out Delta-8 is the answer for a lot of those issues. The second mandate is that a lot of these people had to function all day. Yeah. They, right? They're having all these issues, but they can't be knocked off their rocker all day long. This is, this is the difference between going and functioning high versus I'm gone for the weekend high. Right? Yes. And so Lemon Dream was specifically formulated to take care of those things. And one of the things that we're doing now is we're pulling, as we pull out different cannabinoids from different sources, uh, we've identified the molecule that causes munchies. Mm -hmm. And so for cancer patients that are also having trouble eating, if you're hitting Lemon Dream a lot, you may get the munchies, right? Especially as we start to up that concentration of mm -hmm. that cannabinoid. And that's, again, specifically for someone who's having neuropathic pain that needs to smoke all day long, right? your cancer patient, or somebody who's having intestinal issues. And that's kind of what Lemon Dream is for, which is the reason why I think that's important is because most vape carts are the same. They're almost exactly the same. They're all just some variation of terpene content, content versus Delta-9 versus Delta-8. Yeah. So. And that's, um, is there something, there's another question that's related to this, and that is um, a, a recent question we got. Is there something in a vape cartridge that could make me feel nauseated? Is there an additive that, that could happen, or is that just this one doesn't agree with me? So the, the thing about, one of the beautiful things about cannabis and one of the things that is also odd about it is that everyone ha who is going for recreational cannabis has been cultivating lines of cannabis to have certain profiles. 
AK, uh, you know, Super Sour Diesel, uh, mm -hmm. various, your original OGs, like wh whatever all that is, right? Right. And so, but really what we're saying is they have different concentrations of THC, you know, uh, you're generally going to find anywhere from 18 to 22% is pretty average. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find ones that are 26. And then, you know, we had one test result in the state that somebody had 40. Uh, if that's real, then high five, whoever got all that. Cause, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's hallucination uh, <laughs> status that, right there. That, that's, that's something you do on the weekend, not before you go to work. <laughs> right. Um, but having said all that, so, but the biggest difference is, is the profile also gives you the experience around it. You're getting different tastes and feelings and, and it's interacting with the cannabinoids and specifically Delta 9 differently. Right. And so I have my AK um, or I have my wedding cake or I have my cookie dog, whatever mm -hmm. it is. And I'm looking for that burn at the back of my throat. I want to kind of cough when I'm doing this means I'm looking for something that hits hard and also has more caraophylline because caraophylline was derived in the Middle East and actually is associated with pepper plants. And so you get these effects associated with them.